In this video, I'll be creating a standard three-view orthographic projection drawing from an isometric view. But first, let's take a look at an isometric view. This is a standard block, a six-sided block, if you will. It is drawn on isometric graph paper. This top portion right here is isometric. This bottom portion down here is standard graph paper. But if we take a look at this isometric view at the top here, uh, it is a cube. And uh, when we're converting this isometric view to a standard three-view orthographic projection, we need the three orthographic projections. And by convention, what we're going to do is we're always going to define the front is when we're looking at it from this side. So that's going to be the front. This is going to be the side view of the orthographic projection. And coming down from the top is going to be our top view orthographic projection. So let's take a look at an example. I've drawn another simple geometric shape here in an isometric view. Um, and what we want to do is create the three view I orthographic projections. Now, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look. This is going to be the front side. So viewing at it from this angle is going to be the front. This side's going to be the side. And viewed from the up here, this is going to be the top. So let's first start off. First thing I'm going to do is I take a look at this front view here, this front side. This is a planar surface. This is going to make this side relatively easy to make. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick any point on this front view or the, the, the object that's going to start my front view. I'm going to pick this very bottom point right here. So I'm going to come down to my standard graph paper, and I'm going to put a point. Now I am going to draw these so that they're the sca same scale. 1 to 1. So 1 square here is going to be 1 square. Uh, 1 square in my isometric graph paper is going to be 1 square in my uh, standard graph paper. So from this point, I'm going to go up. I need to draw this vertical line. This vertical line is directly straight up. It is on the lines of my isometric uh, graph paper. So I count that up. 1, 2, 3, 4. It goes up 4 units. I'm going to start at my point, and I'm going to go up four. One, two, three, four. From here, I'm just going to work my way all the way around on this planar view. So I'm going to go over two, over two. From this point, I'm going to go down two, down two, to the right two, to the right two. From here, I'm going to go down two, down two. And then I'm going to finish this up by going all the way back to the front. There we go. So this is now our front view for this object. Now, let's move on to the next view. So we're going to take a look at the side view. So we're going to look at this object from this direction. So what I'm going to do is I need to pick a point to start with. Any point really on the side. But I usually like to try to pick an easy point that I can find. So I look at this bottom edge. And I can look at this point right here. Well, this point is in line with this bottom edge. So I'm going to come over. And in line with this bottom edge, I'm going to go over just two squares. And I'm going to put a point. And that point corresponds to this point right here. So now I can go up two, over two, down two, and back to the left. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to go up. So that's this vertical edge going depth-wise back to the right here. So there's that, down two, and back over. So that takes care of this planar surface right here. But now there's not a planar surface right up here, but there is one that's recessed. When we're looking at it from the side view, this plane is going to still be in the side view. So we need to take a look at this. So we need to find a point on this plane. And if I take a look right here, this point is directly underneath or behind this point when we're looking at it. So if I find this point, which is right here, that's going to start my back plane. So I'm again going to go up right to, down to. So I'm going to go up to, right to, down to. That's going to give me those points. Now my side view is done. So there's my side view. And now we need to do the top view. So again, we're going to look down from the top. And again, I'm going to find an easy point that I can start with. And I'm going to take a look at this point. And it is directly underneath the uh, this edge. So I'm going to go up from this edge here right to that point. So that point, again, corresponds to that point. Now I can go up to, over to, down to, and back to the left. So now I can draw this planar surface right here. 
right there. Now again, I need to draw this, this planar surface, which is the same as what we did in the side view. And I'm going to, again, pick a point. That point's directly under this point. This point is right here. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go to the right, up to, over to. To the right to, up to, over to. And now I have my top view completed. Top view. So now you can see, these are all drawn with visible lines. There are no hidden lines in, in, this, in these views, and there are no center lines. But if we take a look, the way that we draw our standard three view orthographic projection is that all of these lines line up. I'm just going to draw these on here. You don't need to draw these on there. But just for your visual, you can see that those all line up. These all line up, too. So from here to there, those all line up. It's exactly to, all to the same scale. And we have our completed view. Again, when we have our standard three view orthographic projection, our front is always right here. The side that we're dealing with is what we're going to do in this class is it's all going to be to the right and it's going to be in the top. Some of the book examples are slightly different than this, but um, uh, they all have the front side and top view located somewhere. That is how we can go from an isometric view to a standard three view orthographic projection.